Good day everyone, I am Jolly Cifronda, your first reporter in Chapter 7 entitled Flexible Learning Environment. So when we say flexible learning environment, it is a method of learning wherein binibigyan natin ng freedom yung mga student natin in how, what, when, and way they learn. So when we say flexible learning environment, dito na papasok yung physical space, um, paano natin igugroup yung mga student natin during the learning process, and also yung time na gagamitin natin sa pagtutupan. So, at dahil nga nasa 21st century na tayo, wherein ang, ang dami ng changes na nangyari dahil sa internet o mga lawakang paggamit natin ng internet, um, nagkaroon ito ng uh, effect, effect sa pang-araw-araw nating pamumuhay, lalong-lalo na sa education. So, um, it is a global uh, it is a global network and gives the concept of global classroom. So, pag sinabi natin global um, global classroom, um, ito na yung learning environment or educational content wherein the student uh, from different, uh, different parts of the world can interact and collaborate with each other using technology, typically the internet. So, let us discuss what is web-based instruction. So, when we say web-based instruction, means the use of the world wide web uh, as the primary medium of instruction with the use of computer. So, um, um, when pag sinabi natin uh, web-based instruction or yung WBI, ito yung isang pamamaraan ng pagtuturo na uh, gumagamit ng WWW, ito yung tawag natin world wide web um, na pangunahing tool uh, pangunahing platform for delivering uh, educational uh, content and materials. So, uh, kung saan ang computer yung pangunahing tool for uh, both assessing and interacting uh, with instructional materials. So, um, sinasabi dito na uh, ang mga learners ay maaaring mag-aral mag through online gamit ang internet. So, dito na papasok yung mga online content tul tulad ng uh, educational uh, materials including lectures, assignments, uh, yung mga interactivity such as quizzes, discussion, online assessment, and quizzes um, to uh, ma-measure or ma-evaluate natin yung students' understanding and progress. So, uh, yung web-based instruction or yung tinatawag natin WBI ay pwedeng ma-access 24-7 uh, from anywhere with uh, internet connection. So, according to CAN 1977, um, yung web-based instruction nga daw isang method uh, sa pagtuturo with the use of internet and different online resources. So, uh, upang mas maging uh, mas ma meaningful and effective yung quality of educational program. So, making it more engaging and accessible through web technology. So, uh, according naman kay Relan 1997, um, ang WBI naman o yung web-based instruction is an educational uh, approach that utilizes the characteristic and resource of uh, WWW to create a constructive and collaborative learning environment. So, dito na papasok yung uh, may enhance na yung cognitive skills ng mga student and also mapafoster na yung collaboration uh, among learners through uh, online tools. So, web-based instruction can also be formal or informal. So, pag sinabi natin formal learning, ito ay structured and teacher-driven wherein yung teacher ay nag-organize, uh, nag, nag create nagpa-plan ng learning activities para sa mga students. So, dito sa formal learning, dito na papasok yung formal assessment such as quizzes, um, exams, assignments, and to evaluate or measure natin yung learning process ng mga students. So, also, uh, informal learning. So, pag sinabi naman natin informal learning is uh, more self-directed naman siya. So, um, nakadepende na dito yung individual goals ng mga student kung up ano ba yung gusto nilang ma-achieve sa pag-aaral nila. So, uh, dito sa informal learning, um, there are no formal assessment or grading system. Next is the steps of web-based instruction. So, yung, uh, hindi naman na kayo iba dito, yung ADI, ADI model was initially developed by Florida State University. So, this model originally contains several steps under the five original phases, the analyze, the design, the develop, the implement, and evaluation. So, first, let us discuss what is analyze. So, um, pag sinabi naman nating analyze, uh, this is like gathering information about the learners, like people who will learn the tasks they need to do and uh, and what they want to achieve. 
So, next is the design. So, when we say design, imagine this as the piece where um, the instruction is planned and designed. So, it's like uh, creating a blueprint for the lesson. So, next is the develop. So, pag sinabi naman natin develop, uh, this is where all the actual activities and materials are created based on the plan from the design. So, next is the implement. So, pag sinabi naman natin implement, so, think of this as, as testing. So, uh, testing everything to make uh, sure it works and suitable sa mga learners. So, um, last is the evaluate. So, finally, this is the uh, step uh, wherein iti-check muna yung um, iti-check muna kung naging effective ba yung um, instructional materials na ginamit mo sa iyong pagtuturo. So, it's like making sure that it all went according to the plans. Next is types of web-based instruction. So, first, this is the synchronous. So, hindi naman na iba sa ating tong synchronous na to dahil um, nang ginamit na natin to dati nung um, pandemic. So, this is like uh, having a real-time online class with the teacher and classmates. So, ito na nga examples na dito yung mga joining a live videos video lesson, um, dito na papasok yung Gmeet, yung Google Meet na sinasabi, tinatawag natin, and yung webinar. Next is asynchronous learning. So, uh, this is a learning at your own pace using online resources. So, example na dito is watching recorded lectures or are participating in discussion forums when you have time. So, next is blended learning. So, um, it's a mix of online and in-person classes. Example na dito yung um, sample lessons are online and some are in the classroom. So, parang yung sa atin kay Sir Crisanto. Diba? Pag Tuesday, um, uh, nag-meet tayo sa school and pag Friday, ay nag-online class tayo. So, next is number four, flip classroom. So, uh, you study online before class. So, class time is for activities and discussion. So, example na dito is um, watching a video lectures before going to uh, before going to a uh, group discussion in school. So, next is the mm, MOOCs, yung tinatawag nating Massive Open Online Courses. So, um, there are big online courses, courses open to anyone. So, um, taking, example dito is yung taking a free online from a famous university. So, next is the micro learning. So, um, short and quick lesson that you can finish faster. So, next is the uh, gamification. So, when we say gamification, learning is make like a game to keep the learners interested and motivated. So, di ba nga madali nang mabagot yung mga student uh, na mga student ngayon, ngayong 21st century, madali na silang uh, uh, Ma magsawa. Kaya um, maganda din na mag-implement tayo ng mga games para makuha natin yung uh, makuha natin yung interest nila at ma-motivate sila na mag-aral. So, next is the virtual loves or and simulation. So, pag sinabi natin virtual loves and simulation, so ito yung online tools that let you practice and learn in real world situation. So, next is the social learning. So, yung pag sinabi natin social learning, so, yun yun, nakikipag-collaborate ka sa ibang tayo. You learn by talking to other people and working with other people. So, next is the mobile learning. So, mobile learning naman is learn on your phone and or tablet so you can study anywhere. Next is the personalized learning. So, your lesson are customized to get your needs. So, um, uh, using internet, uh, dito, na, dito mo na mafi-figure out kung ano ba yung um, best best method para ka, para matuto ka. So, next, lastly is the video uh, video learning so or video-based learning. Uh, ito na yung, um, it is a form of videos like uh, watching lectures or Tutorial. So, um, each type of web-based instruction uh, has its own characteristic and advantage to us. Uh, to us. So, uh, as a future educator, um, choose what works the best on what we want to teach and how students learn. So, that's the end of my report. Thank you and God bless.